He's on fire. Fantastic performance. Oh, what a leap. Takes a superb catch. What a win. That's done it. The whole team running over to celebrate. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Coyote. This is Cricket 19 T10 Minnows Diversity League. We have same final number one, Afghanistan versus Scotland. Coach for Afghanistan is Tommy. Coach for Scotland is Mitch. Two of the, I would say, the strongest sides in this tournament. Scotland having beaten Zimbabwe, who I thought previously was the strongest side. So if Scotland have beaten Zimbabwe, twice by the way, then yeah... Scotland are even better than them and therefore making them the strongest side um, going in heavily favorites but Afghanistan have got that one bowler Rashid Khan who's able to turn the game on its head and if you are interested in knowing how we made these teams well you can click on the eye icon in the top right corner it'll take you to a draft video and there you'll know the rules for the, uh, you know, making the teams. If you want to participate in such leagues in the future, all you have to do is uh, become a channel member. You do that by pressing the join button, run extra subscribe button. If you do not see the join button, then you can um, check out the link in the description. And also you can follow me on my social medias. I'll randomly pick someone uh, from there as well. So those are the two ways you can become a channel. I mean, you can uh, participate in these. Now let's get into the game. First semi-final. Afghanistan versus Scotland. All right, Kia Oval. That's where the first semi-final will be. I think the second one might be at Lords, and then the finals at Lords as well. But there are the lineups, as the two coaches have requested. And tails have been called by Scotland. Callum McLeod, the captain. And it's heads instead. So Afghanistan have won the toss. Rashid Khan, what will he choose to do? I think he's gonna bat for. Oh no, he's turned to ball first. Brilliant. Jason Roy, Callum McLeod, two up on a batting. One change for Scotland. Faru Gamiri out for Jason Roy. Yep. That's a lovely drive. I'll pick up a single. First up. A good head straight down the ground. Fielder there. Has he beaten him? I think he has. No, he hasn't. The fielder has made sure he hasn't. He's kept that one inside. That is brilliant work in the field. Oh, there he goes again. I think he's got it this time. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah, that's a solid hit. Hits the sight screen. Brilliantly done. That's why Jason Roy had to come in. That was quite a hit. Right out of the meat of the blade. Yeah, once he hit it, I was like, yeah, that's going over. Oh, another brilliant shot. Is that going to go all the way for six? I think so. Yes, it has. 67 meters long. Jason Roy is out here on a mission. And the mission is to absolutely demolish the highest wicket taker in the league. It's doing well so far. There he goes again. Another lovely shot. One bounce and four runs. Jason. What an innings is turning out to be. Oh no, that's an outside edge from Callum McLeod. He's gone. Was in top form in the last game. Got a half ton as well. We're not here today. He's gone. Gone for just one run. McLeod, the skipper gone. Scott. Out. Lovely catch behind the six from Kortza. And uh, Callum will be very disappointed in himself, especially in the kind of form he was in the last game. I mean, you'd expect him to do well. Kyle Coates is an ex-batsman in. He was in decent form in the last game as well. Oh, well, he's gone as well. Lovely. <laughs> All right, then. First delivery tries to slog that one away. Misses it. His off stump is out and about. Another wicket for the spinner. Andy McBrien is on a hat trick now. Cal Coates on his way. That's the two Scots out one after another. Yep. He's taking him on. I don't think he's got all of it. Has he? He might have actually. Oh no, he has. That's gone. That's gone through the side screen. 
And uh, well, who needs Callum McLeod or Code? Someone you've got, Jason Roy. Look at that. That was a half volley there to be put away. And Jason Roy, I mean, he's hit a six in that very similar fashion already. So he backed himself there. Oh, that's a brilliant shot. I think that's going to be another six. Oh, yes, it is. He's still in sixes. 39 runs. He'll move on to Jason Roy. The South African Englishman who's representing Scotland here today. Brilliantly done. That is such a classy shot. And all the way for six as well. Yep. Oh no, what a catch. That wasn't a nick. That was a middle shot. A well-played shot, but the keeper was ready for it. He read it. He got into position. He knew he was going to cut that one away just like he did the last one. That must have stung his hands, but he's got it. Look at that. That was right out of the middle of the blade, but somehow Kortza got it. Jean-Pierre Kortza. The Mebian. What a catch, and that is the most important wicket. Afghanistan might be into this one after getting that wicket. Well, I spoke too soon. Baresi's like, I'm still here. Don't forget about me, mate. Uh-oh. Well, that's the end of Patel. Going for a duck on the fourth delivery. Get on the side of the bat. Straight into the hands of the bowler. Cotton bowled. Now, Vanistan is uh, slowly getting back into the game. That Jason Roy wicket, which was, by the way, I mean, that was a poor delivery. The bowler did not deserve a wicket on that one. All the credit there goes to uh, Coach of the wicket keeper, the Namibian, doing the work behind the sticks. And now, Vanistan is getting control. Uh-oh, and Ron Hayler strikes again. Oh, boy. Oh, I think the collapse have started. This cannot be good. Courts with another catch. This is what I was talking about. Afghanistan have got such a strong bowling side. I mean, they're not that great with a bat. They never have been. It's not been their strong side in this entire tournament. They've not put up a lot of runs, but it's been their bowling always that have rescued them. And there he goes again. Another one. Imran Heather. Told you. If it's not Rashid, it's Imran. If it's not Imran, it's Andy McBrien. The collapse have begun. Scotland's in trouble. And now he's on hat trick as well. It seems like pretty much all the spinners are on hat trick. Havel, the legendary. Uh-oh, he's taking him on, Pavel. That's how you know he's an absolute legend. Hatrick delivery, he does not give two shits. He's gone over the row for six. 98 meters long. Oh, that's a lovely shot from Pavel. Well, he's truly going to become a legend after this game. Oh, there he goes again. Pavel Florin. Oh, boy. Romanian international doing bits. And Baresi joining the party as well. Wesley, here he goes. Four runs. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, they're recovering now. They're doing well to recover. Wesley and Pavel. Put a little, little partnership here, which is proving to be quite dangerous. Well, that's the end of that one. Yeah. That's the end of Pavel that nipped into the batsman with us. Al-Bakhari gets his first wicket. That was a lovely delivery. Sharp turn. And Pavel Florin's lovely innings, belligerent innings, nearly 300 strike rate comes to an end. Oh, that was a wrong one, but Baresi picked it up. Good shot, that'll be four. Brilliant. 17 of 10. Half a volley. Expecting him to drive. He did drive, he did bite, and boy. That was quite a bite, because that's four runs. Yep. Shot, that'll be four. Wesley, that's more like it. All right, Scotland's officially back. Yep. 
Brilliant. That's another gap. That'll be four. One over still to go on 86 runs already. All right, that's 90. So they've already gotten enough runs to win the game. 90 is a very good total. The Kia Oval. Well, they're not going to stop there. He's gone over Kava McCarthy. And that'll be four runs as well. So 94 they've moved on to now. Just six away from a ton all day. They're going to get to it. That's out. That's straight in front. That's the other McCarthy. Still got a couple of... Uh, delivery is left to go. Second, the Raza can bowl well. I'm just not entirely sure. Uh, they've reviewed it. Maybe the impact outside of off. Okay, yeah, it is outside of off, and that's why they're going to re um, revert that out decision to not out. It's going on to hit the stumps, and that's really all I care about. But the thing is, the rules are different. The rules is impact has to be in line and it's on line and so there ha therefore it's uh, going to be given not out there it is wakanda forever all right last delivery shot oh boy you're not stopping that one that is too good how do you even play a shot like that you'll have to nick it in order to play like that but he's meddled it i don't know who's done that he's done it though that's the important part and that's the end of that innings they've got a mighty total I thought it might be over for them, but they've recovered well. Wesley Baresi and Pavel Florin started it. McCarthy contributed it. 98. So 99 to get. It's not going to be easy, especially with Afghanistan. They've got very shaky batting. Mohamed Nabi is going to open. All right, they've got the hard hitter opening the batting. They know they need a big total, and uh, they've got just the man for the job. Ahmed Hassan to open the bowling for Scotland. He's been pretty good, you know, surprisingly good for uh, Scotland in this year, in this uh, tournament. First delivery to Mohamed Nabi, the two Afghans budging heads. Here we go. Oh, great start. That's what I'm talking about. Well, he's got him. That's it, Mohamed Nabi. They took a gamble with opening with Nabi and well, it's backfired. I think a better position for him would have been number four. It's too late now. It's gone. Lovely catch behind the sticks from Baresi. If he gets a couple more catches and Scotland wins, he will have to be the man of the match. Baresi, that is. And Shuman Rath is an ex batsman in. Normally opens, coming in at number three today. Guess it doesn't matter to him. He's smashed that one away for four. Pavel. Yep. Oh, lovely shot. End of the gap. Is that going to race away? Field has not given up the chase. Oh, I love the hustle. That is brilliant fielding. He saved him one run right there. Kozo is amazing with the gloves. Oh, that's out. That is straight in front. Pavel strikes, he was good with the bat. He's been very good with the ball as well. He's got Wrath, he's gone for five of six. Adnan Elias from Oman comes out next. Oh, okay, well that's gonna help our uh, Afghanistan, not Scotland though. Extras. Uh oh, well, Adnan did not last for too long now, did he? He's gone. Ahmed has struck again. It's yet another wicket and another catch for Baresi. It's really good behind the sticks and he was even better in front of him. Ashish Bagai is next batsman in. Same thing goes for Korte. He was so good behind the sticks and uh, well, he's looking good in front of the sticks at the moment as well. We'll have to get a few more runs in order to truly show his class and outclass Korza. Good shot. And the cow corner he goes. And four runs he'll collect. 13 of nine. Uh-oh. Well, that's the end of Ashish. No need to appeal for that. That was a very thick edge. 
short and nipped into the batsman. No chance, look at that. It's very difficult. And yet another catch for Wesley. Sikandar Raza, he can bat. Oh no, well, that's an inside edge, that's another wicket, collapse. Have begun for Afghanistan as well. But you never know with this uh, format. I mean, anything can happen. I mean, we saw it with uh, Scotland. They started off really well. Then in the middle, it came down crashing and then they finished strong and now they have a really good total. Same can happen with Afghanistan, you never know. It's gone for a duck, Sikhandar Raza. Rashid Khan, now he knows how to bat. Uh-oh, well, well, well. That's another wicket. Oh boy, this ball is on fire. It's got two back-to-back -back wickets. He got a wicket earlier in the over as well, so it's not quite a hat-trick yet, but if he gets a wicket in his next over on the first delivery, then he will complete the hat-trick. Barry McCarthy. Preston Mumsen. Oh, lovely shot from Kortza. It's the wicket keeper's day. Same thing happened with Scotland. It was Wesley Barassi who came to the rescue and it's Kortza here for Afghanistan. Keeps going. He's not going to stop. Not anytime soon. He's not going to give up that easily. It's his time to shine. You shun already behind the sticks. Now it's his turn to do it in front. Okay. Is that the end? No, that's not. He's cleared him. I thought it might be a catch for the middle fielder. Oh, that's straight to the field. Why have they decided to go for it? Oh, no. Well, that's just poor. That's the end of court, sir. The last hope for Afghanistan. That is just foolish. What, what was he thinking? He absolutely cannot afford that. It's gone 25 of 21, highest run scorer, and well, pretty much the only batsman who looked decent enough to get Afghanistan anywhere. Well, he's gone. Andy McBride is the next batsman in. No ball. All right, that'll help. That'll help Afghanistan definitely. They need. A few illegal deliveries because uh, the score is a bit too high and there are just 20 deliveries left. It's going to be 19 now. Yeah! Well, <laughs> too late. Too close to the party. Needed a bit, of, a bit of room. Not enough room to cut that one away. And he's lost his wicket. He did hit it actually. Look at that. He did hit it. But he was a bit too late. Golden one for Andy McBrien. Nadassar Bukhari comes into bat. He has scored 22 before, so... Well... <laughs> yeah, he's not scoring 22 today, that's for sure. That's another duck. They've kept the wicket keeper busy. He has to get them out of the match after all those catches and uh, the kind of batting performance he did as well. Run Heather, he was very good with the ball. Let's see how well he does with the bat. And that's another catch for Wesley. Oh my. I think pretty much all of them, except maybe two wickets, have been caught, caught behind. That's the end of the game. Scotland have won by 53 runs and they are the first team to make it through to the final. Jason Roy gets them out of the match. I think it should have been Wesley. I mean, look at that, 29 of 13. And then we'll see right here. Look at that. Wesley, Baresi, 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 Baresi. He took so many catches. Yeah, I think it should have been Wesley, Baresi, honestly. So there it is. Imran Haider finishing at the top. McBride right behind him, but the team is out, so he's not going to be able to extend that lead, unfortunately. Barry McCarthy, though, has a chance to extend and take the first place. Here are the highest, uh, highest run scorers in the playoffs. 
Callum McLeod still at the top and he still has a ch uh, chance to uh, go even further. So does Kyle Kortza and Baresi. So, Scotland have made it through to the final. It's Ireland and Canada next. It's going to be an exciting one as well. Canada has been a dark horse. I wasn't really expecting them to do well, but here they are in the semi-finals against Ireland. Who's going to win? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, do drop a like, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in our next video. Until then, have a nice...